This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Rashi, in the beginning of the parsha, bring the well-known statement of Chazal on the words Vayeshav Yaakov Biaretz Magurei Aviv Biaretz Kenoan. Rashi brings down Bikish Yaakov Leishav B'Shalva. Yaakov sought to reside in tranquility. Kafatz Olav Rugzay Shal Yosef. So the anger of Yosef jumped upon him. Hashem gave him the challenge, the tsar of Yosef. Tzadikim evakshin leishu b'shava. Righteous people want to reside in tranquility. Yom ra'a kodesh baruchu lo yidayin le tzadikim ha'shem asukin lehem lo'il maba. It's not sufficient for a tzadik what's reserved in the world to come. El ha'shem evakshin leishu b'shava ba'il mazeh. They want to live in tranquility in this world as well. Well, ask the Aushech, the Aushech HaKadosh. What exactly was wrong, what was deficient in Yaakov Avinu's request to live in peace? Why shouldn't a tzaddik want tranquility? Why shouldn't a tzaddik want peace? Shouldn't a tzaddik look forward to his true reward in the world to come and enjoy the fruits of his activities in this world as well? So the question is, asks the al what was wrong with the request of Yaakov Avinu that the Rebbe Shalom said, it's not sufficient to Olam Haba? You want Olam Hazah as well and Hashem had to punish Yaakov? What's wrong? So the Arshach says you have to look very carefully at the words of Chazal. It doesn't say, This is not only something Yaakov wanted, but he sought it out. He went after it, perhaps he requested it, and asked for it. But, says the Arshach, while certainly if a tzaddik does receive goodness in Olam Habzah, he should certainly accept it graciously and enjoy it, but not This is the great insight of the Alshech on the words of Chazal, Bikesh Yaakov Leishev Veshava. Bikesh V'loi Ratza. Wishing everyone a wonderful day. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.